Ren, why you gotta be so good? I freaking love it. Okay, this is why I love Ren. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Quality Reactions, where we're gonna listen to some more quality art. Today on the channel, guys, we're gonna be listening to more Ren, and this time his song, Sick Boy. You guys know that I have come to love Ren, so I'm very excited to continue on this journey with you. Just a friendly reminder to like and subscribe to the channel, and with that being said, hmm, let's do this. Hi Ren, thank you for coming in today. Thanks for seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. Have you ever heard of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic downstream effect on our biology. Sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tick boy, looking for that fix boy, anabolic steroids, damn so, post a boy, pass out, white noise, quick fix, snake oil, I'm about to break boy, oh, what a shame, he's in pain, have another go, take another pill, here, take a couple more, let's see how you're doing in another week or so, you'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show, TV Oh, I feel like this is just going to be one of those ones that is on the train, so it's going to be hard to pause. But I just had to stop and say, and this is why I love Ren. I, and this is why I love music videos. I I have talked about this a few times, but I really love live videos. But sometimes I really want to watch a music video for this reason. It really shows how artistic and creative Ren is. And I freaking love it. Okay. I love how simple the sets are in most of his videos, but they really draw you in. Like it really sets the tone for the whole video. I love that he's got this woman here and she's like this healthcare professional. Um, obviously the start of the video is something, um, I wonder if it's kind of representing like his run around that he had in the medical system when he was trying to uh, figure out what was wrong with him. I know a little bit about his mental and physical struggles just because you guys have been so kind to let me know what's going on. So I have a little bit of background in that in that way. So that's that's definitely helping here. Um, she mentioned the trauma response, which is so interesting because that is legit. Like that's legit. Um, and I'm not sure if that's something that Ren also suffered with. So he did have this like trauma response and it was uh, also affecting him physically or if this was one of the things – that happened in his like run around in the medical industry before he actually found out what was wrong with him. Because then she's talking about quick fix. He says quick fix snake oil. I'm about to break boy. And then it kind of switched to the woman and he was voicing it, but she was um, mouthing it, which was very cool. Oh, what a shame. He's in pain. Have another go. Take another pill here. Take a couple more. Let's see how you're doing in another week or so. You'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show. Um, So that was really like, yeah, just that. And she had that weird, like little creepy smile. So it kind of really felt like a commentary on um, slapping a bandaid over the problem, as opposed to really trying to get to the root cause of what could be behind what's what was going on with him. Uh, again, I'm not really sure if he also had the trauma response thing, or if that was just like one of the things that took away from finding the real issue. Also, I love the weird flashbacks that were happening when he was sitting on the ground because it was that guy from, I'm pretty sure the high Ren video that I've done before. It was like the, I don't know, the nurse or whatever in the pig mask with the blood. Um, and he was having flashbacks to that. So I wonder if that was kind of signifying the mental health part um, or something like that, because it was it did seem to tie in to that video somehow. So that was really cool. Uh, I love the little tidbits like that you can throw in for like especially the fans and stuff who have obviously consumed a lot of his content so can put all the like little Easter eggs together and um, it just shows how his overall vision for all his stuff really ties together which I love too it's like really thoughtful 
uh anyway i'm really enjoying it obviously i think ren's incredible his he's, he's an incredible lyricist that has this ability to be totally truthful about his own experience and it somehow still resonates with you personally like in your own life what you've experienced in your own life is definitely what i love about ren is i feel connected to him and his story and my story even though we're completely different people so that's what i really love anyway let's just keep going okay i'm gonna go back twice did I go back twice? Pain, have another go. Take another pill. Here, take a couple more. Let's see how you're doing in another week or so. You'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show. Derealization, medical patient. Losing patience with the process. Walking hand in hand with Satan. Complications with the medication. Inflammation, dehydration, inhalation. Aggravation, building up a toleration. Drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown. I've been feeling like I'm drowning with my feet upon the ground. I've been screaming, I've been shouting, but I never make a sound. I've been looking for a way out, but I always seem to drown is this all making sense Ren? um yeah i think so good what i propose we do is we try to pinpoint the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck what can you tell me about your childhood uh, i can't like what is that i want to know i want to know the connection between that is that part of his mind that's supposedly playing tricks on him or yeah it's definitely got to be connected to the mental health thing or like the high Ren video because of the guy with the pig mask anyway um I'll, the lyrics will get away from me if I don't keep up with them. So I love that um, derealization, medical patient, losing patience with the process, walking hand in hand with Satan, complications with the medications, inflammation, dehydration, inhalation, aggravation, building up a toleration, drown, sucker, drown, sucker, drown, sucker, drown. I've been feeling like I'm drowning with my feet upon the ground. Really feels like overwhelming, an overwhelming whole verse where he's just talking about like losing patience with trying to figure out what's going on with him and having to go on this journey of the medications and appointments and like disappointments of not being able to figure out what's going on and also the side effects which can make you feel physically ill and make your mind all messed up and yeah i've been screaming i've been shouting but i never make a sound i've been looking for a way out but i always seem to drown yeah, just like cannot get out of this like vicious cycle of what's been going on. It's like super overwhelming. Um, I like it. Okay, let's move back up. Exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck. What can you tell me about your childhood? Uh, I can't really think. It's okay if nothing comes up right away. What I'd like you to do is take some deep breaths with me. In and out. Good. Now tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. I feel like it's not me. It's the world that's sick. We're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's suicide and still we come in. I'm not sick. We are sick. We are standing on a cliff in the name of progress. We jump off the precipice. I'm not sick. I'm the virus. You're the virus hypocrite. How can you sit there with a smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Sick boy, sick boy, looking for a fix boy. Push it down in public, quick pose with the pick boy. Record label meetings that come on the fire your gift boy why are you so upset don't you want to be a rich boy fuck no industry is cutthroat i've been doing bits by myself swimming backstroke walking on a tightrope rapping with a slit throat the way that we persist is like the ending of a bad joke as the people of old we're complacent to assailants and we do what we're told counterintelligence aside to behold rape the earth of all resources and we plead it for gold okay oh was near the end okay that was just like it was on the train it was on the train i'm gonna go back i'm so sorry um yeah so it's all making sense ren yeah i think so good what i propose is we try to pinpoint the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck what can you tell me about your childhood and then they do that breathing exercise and the pig man flashed again <laughs> the <laughs> the big mask guy um and then what's the first thing that comes to your mind? And then, wow. And then he starts, I feel like it's not me. It's the world that's sick. We're, get, we're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We, com we consume, we destroy, and we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's suicide and still we commit. I'm not sick. We are sick. We're standing on a cliff. I'm in the, na in the name of progress. We jump off the precipice. I'm not sick. I'm the virus. You're the virus hypocrite. Um, how can you not sit there with that smile on and tell me that I'm sick? So, yeah, it went kind of from like this personal struggle at the beginning to then now it feels kind of a bit like so a social commentary on like 
the world itself. And it does tie in kind of with how the medical industry probably gave him the runaround, I feel like, because you start to see how messed up when you're in such like pain and anguish and you can't figure stuff out. You start to see on a grand scale how messed up things are. And like, yeah, just record, yeah. Sick boy, sick boy, push it down in public. Quick pose for a pick boy. Record label meetings that commodify your gift boy. Why are you so upset? Don't you want to be a rich boy? So yeah, now it's kind of more of like a, a social commentary about how, you know, the world wants us to do all this stuff and we're like, you know, make money, like making money is more important and uh, we'll do anything. Even if, even if, even if we're told like, it's not good, we'll still do it. Like what science tells us that it's suicide, but we still commit, like, you know what I mean? So, uh, and then, and then talk, he was talking about how like in society we're giving everything we need and then we commoditize it. And then he's talking about, his commodity is his gift of like singing and songwriting and telling the stories and he's getting all this from the record label like don't you want to be a rich boy don't you want to commodify your gift uh very cool um okay let's just keep going i'm gonna go back twice because it's so fast Joe, as the people evolve we can place into assailants and we do what we're told counterintelligence aside to behold rape the earth of all resources and we bleed it for gold and we bleed it for wealth we bleed it for fame but when you bleed it can you tell me what the fuck will remain and i'm bleeding myself i bleed in my brain while i'm bleeding i'm the reason because i'm doing the same ah well that was it ah okay that was it okay <laughs> that was so abrupt at the end um whoa okay <laughs> it got so heavy it, I mean the whole song was heavy but it got really heavy at the end um I've been doing bits by my myself swimming backstroke walking on a tightrope rapping with a slit throat the way that we persist is like the ending of a bad joke as the people as the, why can't I speak as the people evolve we're complacent to assailants and we as we do what we're told counterintelligence a sight to behold rape the earth of all resources and we bleed it for gold and we bleed it for wealth we bleed it for fame but when you bleed it can you tell me what the fuck will remain and i'm bleeding myself i'm bleeding my brain while i'm bleeding i'm the reason because i'm doing the same shit dude Mm, it really felt like a twist at the end to kind of like I'm guilty of this stuff like we're like basically like humanity is a virus to the world we're screwing everything up shit's going down but I'm I'm not I'm guilty as everyone else is while I'm bleeding I'm the reason because I'm doing the same so we bleed the money we are bleed, we bleed the money we bleed the earth for its resources for gold for wealth for fame and then He's saying, well, he's bleeding. He's the reason because he's doing the same. So, yeah, it's like he's part of the problem. He's part of the – he's a virus himself. So it's kind of – yeah, it was definitely – hmm. Ren, why you got to be so good? <laughs> uh, that was so good. It was so – it's hard when you're trying to think of words on the spot and it literally feels like your brain goes blank and you're like, I've never had a thought in the world. But I love Ren. I just think he has such a way with words and I love the way he weaves the story. He's such a good storyteller. You guys know this if you've seen any of my other Ren videos. I think he's an amazing storyteller, which is one of my favorite things about him. Honestly, he's one of the one of the favorite people that I've found so far on this journey because I feel like I connect with him on the storyteller level, like that is my, like my true, my one true love is storytelling and connecting with people. Um, and I just love how good he is at doing that and how open he is and how vulnerable he is with all his um, personal struggles and how he can really connect with people that way. I love, I love that. I love that about Ren. Um, this was a really cool one. Definitely. Um, I don't think I've ever listened to anything from Run that I didn't like, so there's that. But this felt shorter than normal, but just me? I don't know. Felt a little bit shorter than normal, but so interesting. So 
such a it's so mm, words what are words what are thoughts what are words oh my goodness guys thanks for being here thanks for hanging out with me i really appreciate it i love the recommendations honestly keep them coming if you can Ah, if you guys like this reaction, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you know when more is coming your way. And as always, I'll link my Twitch in the info section below if you want to come over there and hang out with me when I'm live. But that's it for today's video. So I can't wait for the next one and I can't wait for the next Ren. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you next time. Peace.